What is going on, all you crown eating motherfuckers? RC Styles here. Yes, guys, it is November 5th. Halloween is over. But because I had some personal things come up during the time that we were supposed to be filming a ton of Halloween related material, as you saw from the way we did our intro, we are going to be making up all of those Halloween streams that we missed. So for all you spooky fans out there, you're not going to give a shit because guess what? You get an extra week, maybe two of Halloween related material. And then for the rest of you all, they're like, all right, come on, let's get on with the rest of your shows for the rest of the year. You're just going to have to be a little bit more patient. Sorry about your damn luck. But here is round number one of the playoffs for Mutant Football League, which was supposed to be done on October 30th. And with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and turn all the commentary over to Gl uh, Grim Blitzrow, Brickhead Mulligan, and Bricks Jr. The roof is open today at the Krokyo Dome here in Tokyo, Japan. The only city to survive World War VII. Tokyo saved the Earth with their giant robots and monsters. Now they'll thrill the universe with their regular-sized robots. Today's matchup features two teams who don't like each other and both are determined to win the divisional round playoff game. The Los Scandalous Volts take on the Tokyo Terminators. It's the divisional playoff round and the teams are ready for kickoff. Let's listen in on the pregame speech. Welcome to the divisional playoffs here on the MFL Network. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. What's the good word, Bricks? Well, I'm excited about today, Tim. I found a surprise in my cereal. It was a real bug. Yeah, not one of them cheap plastic ones. I mean, this thing was real. Anybody got rolling papers? It's almost time for kickoff, and I could not be more thrilled. I know you won't stop squeezing my shoulder. Sorry, Bricks. It's uh, just so exciting. Look at that little mutant run! Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. Six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll be second down and four. <laughs> so much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. Four. He is running like 
an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and five. And they stack the line and he gets his bell run for a yard. Third and four. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. Oh, Mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. <laughs> and it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps outside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First and ten. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. I'm surprised no one uses the electric carving knife anymore, Brick. <laughs> And he runs it in for the touchdown. Man, look at him dance. <laughs> he can't help himself. I thought robots aren't supposed to feel emotions. Looks like someone needs to watch Blade Runner again. You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And he kicked the snot out of that ball. <laughs> Someone get him a Kleenex. And 
It's first and ten. Quarterback, you have to take risks and just, oh, he just got popped big time. Oh, my God, I thought his head was going to pop off like a big zit. Just cleared the field for the receiver. Oh, thank God! Oh, he just got crushed! And that'll be second and eight to go. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Chris? It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Pacow, what a kick. That's headed for the end zone. Pacow? And just throwing some stuff at the wall to see what sticks, Bricks. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged and can electrocute any opponent. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a super first down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And this guy is one of the best chip kickers in the league, and he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta... Uh... <clears throat> warming up. Good 
good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. point but this guy could blow it the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies here comes the kicker oh, i can't wait to hear this what's the kicker grin uh, this guy in the field oh i thought you were gonna tell me a story like here's the kicker when i turned on the light it wasn't a broad in my bed it was a chimp wearing a wig This guy is one of the best chip kickers in the league, and he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. Remember that time in Cabo? And it's first and ten. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, they would be worthy of a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Great color work as usual. Second down and five. First down. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about shit. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing because he's the one who just got wiped out. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. And it 
hurry up offense. There is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. The it's the fourth quarter, and we're at the two-minute warning. Two minutes into what? Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move his ass out of bounds before he gets fried. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. The asshole up here. Talk to me. Third down and ten. offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato! And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable! Surprise us next time! Call the timeout during halftime! changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. QB should throw it and catch it too. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. He picks up eight yards on that pass. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, see that Fritz's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. Yeah. Grim. Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? Yeah. He's bribed, you idiot. Third down, and well, offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry up offense, you moron. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's 
First and ten. It's a jab attack. Come on! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. The Terminators terminate the opposition and are victorious. And the home team demolishes the competition, and they'll be going to the conference championships next week for a chance to play in the Mayhem Bowl. They mutilated him. And let's hear what the game's MVP has to say. <laughs> the divisional playoff round was brought to you by Evil SN and the Mutant Football League. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you can fill it. And all right, gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video. So do me a favor. If you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there, you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like. Hit that like and subscribe button. Flicker ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace. Oh shit, what up? What? 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 what?